Malaysia has rejected a unilateral ceasefire call by self-proclaimed Sulu Sultan Jamalul Kiram III. Prime Minister Dato Sri Najib Tun Razak said Sulu militants must lay down arms and surrender unconditionally. Dan kita masih lagi dalam proses untuk mengambil tindakan terhadap uh, kumpulan ini dan tindakan operasi ketenteraan polis akan diteruskan sehingga mereka meletak senjata tanpa syarat. For as long as, as it takes to eliminate them. Or they surrender or, or rather lay down arms unconditionally. He said this at a press conference at the media center in Felda Sahabat in Lahad Datu Thursday. Najib also announced the setting up of a special security area to secure the borders of the east coast of Sabah and reassure the people of Sabah about their safety. He said five battalions of army and police would be stationed at the special area. He also said that the question of whether Sabah was part of Malaysia should not arise as that has been determined legally as far back as 1878 and subsequently by the referendum conducted by the Cobalt Commission ahead of the formation of Malaysia. Earlier, the self-proclaimed Sulu Sultan had called for an immediate ceasefire to the standoff in Sabah following calls by United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon to end violence in Sabah and start holding dialogues.